Desawego, alleluia. Christ is risen. He's truly risen. Desawego, alleluia is the greeting used uh, among the people of Poland to express their joy in this most special and holy feast of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Easter, among all the great feasts of the Christian community, is the greatest. There is no doubt about it. It's the first of all the feasts celebrated among Christians. Easter was something observed, uh, not only on Easter Sunday, but every Sunday after that, the Christian community has considered it a holy day. Uh, not Saturday, the Sabbath, but Sunday, the first day of the week. The week in which by the Bible, Jesus, the, by the Bible, we know it was the, way, the day Jesus rose from the dead. We also know that by our biblical teaching, the first day of the week is the day of creation. God begins his creative work of creating the world and everything in it. How appropriate that the recreation of the world through the resurrection of Jesus Christ is to take place on the very day God begins his work of creation of the world around us and the life-giving forces that he releases. The Bible passage for this Sunday is so beautiful and so pertinent. Let me read some of it to you. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early, when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. A very important, uh, you might say, tradition that was found in those days, that the bodies of their beloved deceased should be, uh, you might say, scattered with, with, with spices so that there be a, a pleasant aroma around this body that has, has died and will we start to be decaying. But it was immediately presented with a problem, these three women, when they went uh, to the tomb. Um, they had to deal with a stone. These large stones that would roll in front of the tomb. Uh, and they said to themselves, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? It's almost like they get caught up. They're really filled with the joy of doing something so special, and then they go, uh oh, wait a minute. How am I going to do that? I think it's interesting, isn't it? We oftentimes, in our human experience, have all the greatest intentions, and suddenly we run up against a roadblock. Something holds us back. And in the scripture passage of the resurrection of Jesus sort of brings that very human dimension into it. So when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. And, you know, on entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. There's a young man, maybe they at first thought, is this Jesus? But no, the young man, an angel says, oh no, 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 uh, uh, do not be amazed. You're not seeking me, you're seeking Jesus of Nazareth. He has been raised, he is not here. Uh, a, a message for all of us that we are not to be left in death you might say, to be left in the tomb or in the burial grounds. That uh, our destiny is something way beyond our capacity to understand. And I think that's also very important. The resurrection of Jesus is something that is beyond, in some ways, our comprehension. It's startling, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, and it knows it gives us hope. We cannot totally explain it because it goes way beyond science. It goes way beyond history. It, way, it goes way beyond our ordinary human experience. We know about love, life. We know about when we overcome difficulties as human beings. Uh, we know it has to do with a big stone 
that's been rolled across our lives called death and suffering. And we keep wondering in this life, how will that stone be ever removed that I might have entrance into the way of life, uh, into Jesus' way, into Jesus' resurrection? And like the three women at the tomb, uh, bearing the spices uh, of burial, we know and believe in our hearts that's something only God can do for us. Let him remove the stone of unbelief in your heart. Let him remove the stone of difficulty that you face and, and come and join us in the risen glory of our Lord Jesus Christ with faith and belief. For as the angel said, he has been raised. He is not here. Vesowego. Alleluia.